Well, Andrew K. P. Lung is a China strategist based in Hong Kong. He joins me now live. Thanks so much for speaking to us. I mean, how serious uh, is this warning to protesters that they shouldn't underestimate the resolve of the Chinese government? Well, you can see that the um, demonstrators, the, the protesters, are escalating their degree of violence, uh, not only in terms of um, um, using lethal weapons, uh, including the recent use of lethal uh, laser guns, uh, but also um, uh, vandalizing symbols of Beijing's authority uh, and throwing a hoisted national flag into the sea. Um, and also Um, in, in the um, uh, uh, Beijing's um, main representative office in Hong Kong. So all these points to um, a kind of escalation and a change of nature uh, of these protests. No longer are they about just the uh, extra, uh, controversial extradition bill, uh, which allows the possibility of offenders being extradited uh, to the mainland, uh, but also there are calls uh, for um, uh, re um, liberating Hong Kong, um, a revolution of our times. Uh, this suggests that this is uh, more than uh, just an ordinary protest. And of course, that the protesters are spreading um, uh, social media, are uh, spreading like um, using guerrilla tactics, uh, moving from one place to another, surrounding police stations, vandalizing uh, installations. So, um, of course, Beijing cannot um, uh, just stand idly by. But then, Okay. Uh, this carries on. Uh, it seems to be Andrew. a plot uh, for the deployment of the People's Liberation Army. Right. Andrew Long, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, we're having some issues with your connection. I'd like to thank you, though, so much uh, for joining us. We greatly appreciate it.